Hi, I'm Duffy Gelman. I work for RSmart. Um, Duffy, RSmart. Uh, I was asked to look at what potential integrations could be made between Google applications and Sakai CLE. And in looking at that, it seemed like uh, the low-hanging fruit, as it were, would be uh, providing documents from Google Docs within resources in Sakai. So that was what I set out to do. And uh, I found rather quickly that that in and of itself may be the limit of what one can do for Google integration without a larger institutional commitment to partnering with Google. Um, that larger institutional commitment is called uh, Google Apps for Education. So I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, what I did deliver was an integration between the resources tool and Google Docs. The idea is that a user can go into resources and if the Google Docs integration is enabled, they'll see a new functionality or a new, new action that they can take. Uh, they can click on a little drop down box by any folder and can say, create a link to Google Docs. And what will then happen is the user will be directed to their Google Docs account uh, they will approve the, the Sakai uh, CLE's uh, ability to access their documents uh, and then they get to select one of their documents and that is turned into a link. Um, the benefits of having a link to a Google document within Sakai uh, are that, well, one, you, you get to use the, the fun, fancy Web 2.0 uh, editing tool that Google has created for the document. Um, you can you know, style it and format it however you want in their tool, um, and then provide that link to your students in your site. Um, additionally, in using this model, you don't have to synchronize the permissions for your students in your site with permissions for users in Google. Google doesn't know who your students are um, unless you have a deeper involvement between your institution and Google you have to somehow have you know, the same users in Sakai that you have in Google. So the tool that I developed uses a, 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 a technology called OAuth, which allows a user to grant a token from Google to the Sakai CLE, and that token allows Sakai to behave as the user. So what this does is it allows Sakai behind the scenes, when a student clicks the link, Sakai behind the scenes can take this token over to Google and say, just give me the data, I'll stream it to the user. So at that point, Sakai is now uh, you know, guarding the border. Sakai is enforcing the security. Sakai is determining who can and can't see the document, and Google is none the wiser. Um, this, of course, has um, you know, some caveats to it. You, you, want, you have to be careful about this, uh, as you would with any enterprise system like an LMS. You need to have appropriate security in place to make sure that that data is properly protected. Uh, in the presentation, a couple of ideas came up that I'll be looking at implementing uh, to help with this uh, privacy and security. Uh, one person brought up the, the concern that a super user could use this uh, linking tool to, to view everyone's documents, which is true. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to incorporate a new functionality which allows uh, the user to specify which documents can be shared. So I've implemented this functionality. Uh, the Google Documents link uh, integration is now available through uh, the RSmart contrib space in the Sakai project uh, subversion. Um, the URL will be in a, uh, a PowerPoint or a keynote document that I will upload to the uh, conference web uh, wiki space. Uh, linked off of the Google integration for Sakai presentation. Um, so a little implementation details. Uh, I created an OAuth uh, library that gets used within Sakai. Um, my hope is that that will be used by other projects that want to use OAuth for like linking to Flickr or to Snappick or Snapfish or any of these other uh, resources that provide content on behalf of a user. Um, I created a, uh, a content resource entity uh, that allows the resource tool to treat these links as if they're any other resource. Um, and I created some UI that allows uh, a user to pick their document from among the Google document items. Through all of this, I realized that I've taken on the, the low-hanging fruit. This isn't 
everything one would want to do with Google Documents. I think what we all really want is the Google Documents application itself in an iframe within Sakai. Uh, it would be nice to be able to do collaborative editing instead of simply picking a document that already exists in Google Documents. Um, there are some, some challenges to that, uh, the least of which is navigation. You know, once you have another application in an iframe, the user can use that to navigate around to other tools and can lose context, and that can get confusing. But let's assume the users are savvy and can get past that and, and can you know, uh, overcome or compensate for that problem. Um, the next problem is harder. It is that, uh, as I said earlier, Sakai has different users than Google. Somehow you have to make sure that the same user is represented in both tools and that they have the same access to the documents in both tools. Um, this turns out to be a more challenging problem. Um, it requires, I think, at least uh, an institutional relationship with Google on the order of uh, purchasing Google Apps for Education. Uh, this allows you to define all of your users in Google Apps so that you do have the same users. Um, I also believe it's going to require single sign-on between Google Docs and Sakai. There are two ways to do this. You can use Google for a single sign-on provider, or uh, if your institution has a single sign-on service that supports SAML, um, and these would be things like the, the central authentication service, CAS, uh, supported by JSIG, or Shibboleth, supported by uh, Internet2. If your institution has one of those two services, Google will allow you to use those as your, sing your single sign-on service to get people into Google. So once you have those things in place, the single sign-on and the Google Apps for Education, you have the preconditions that would allow you to stick Google in an iframe. Okay, so moving from the preconditions to actually making it function is another issue. Now you need to figure out how to synchronize authorization between Sakai and Google. Uh, you know, the user Duffy at rsmart.com has to be able to get into the site on Sakai, but also has to have permissions on the Google side to edit the document. Um, I've begun looking at this and I'm collecting use cases, so I invite people to email me, duffy at rsmart.com, if you've got use cases or ideas on how to solve this problem. At the moment, it's looking like uh, Sakai needs to push uh, uh, updates to the access control lists on the Google side uh, periodically when, uh, when roles or permissions change on the Sakai side or when rosters update on the Sakai side. Um, this is just an idea. There are other ideas as well, like creating a new uh, security advisor within Sakai that simply defers to Google for all of the permissioning. Um, both of those will be fleshed out a little bit more, and as I said, I'm looking for use cases and I'm also looking for people who uh, have ideas on how they would address this so that I could maybe map out on the wiki ideas uh, to, to help move this forward.